my name is Stephen Smith. I am a Quicken and QuickBooks expert. You can read more about my services and contact me at quickencoach.com or sundialvfo.com. In this video, we're going to go over three new features that I am most excited about in 2022 in Quicken. Now, these features are regularly rolled out and it's free as part of your Quicken subscription. In the Quicken product, you can see these updates by going to the help menu, release notes, where you'll see all of the release notes. Now, most of these things are what's new, what's fixed, what's improved. And when they improve and they fix things, a lot of these are back end items, which you may or may not even notice a difference. But every once in a while, there are some new features that are added. And this is a video on three of those items. Specifically, we are going to talk about the reorder account, a reset button, and displaying a security symbol. Then in a second and third video, I'll go into detail about restricted stock units, as well as investment partnership functionality. The first feature, the reorder account, was released in June of 2022 with release 41.9. And down here you can see you can now reorder accounts on the account bar using drag and drop. Accounts must still be within the same type, banking, investing, property, etc. So let's go into the product and let's see what that means. So here we are in my sample file. And on the left, we can see a whole bunch of accounts. This is essentially your balance sheet. This is checking, savings, credit card accounts, brokerage, investments, different properties, mortgages, escrows, etc. Now, it used to be that you'd go into the account list and to reorder, you'd have to click on an individual account and move it up or down. Now, if you have a small list, this is not too difficult. But if you have a long list, moving these once or twice up and down each time can be quite tedious and it can take up to a second each time. Now with the new system, we can go on the gear, rearrange accounts, it changes the view and now we can drag and drop. So if we want the clearing account down towards the bottom, just drag. If we want the private equity account up to the top of the investing section, excellent. We can move it just like that. This is a great new feature. It came at just the right time because I was doing a project for a client and had to rearrange extensive long list. And this saved a tremendous amount of time. So kudos to Quicken. I give you an A on this update. This has been a huge time saver. Next, let's go over the reset button. This was a improvement made in June of 2022. Specifically, the notes say a reset button will no longer appear in the register when nothing is filtered. Again, let's go into the product and see what this reset button does. So let's say we're in a credit card account and we are trying to filter. If we filter by a time range, Boom, we have now filtered transactions and the reset button appears. We go back to all dates, the reset goes away. If we only want to see charges, we're filtering, filtering, uncategorized reset button. And then one button clicks it back. This is a great improvement. However, I also want to comment on the search bar. The search and the filters, they, I see them one in the same. And I actually use the search feature even more frequently, for instance, let's say I want to find all the times I went to CVS. Typing in CVS will show all the CVSs. Let's say I want to see all the times that I went to CRISP or EasyPass. E dash Z, and there's all my EasyPass. Now, the filter is actually extremely powerful. The search is very powerful in that I can search for memos, so meetings or I can search for categories. So I can search for groceries, 
or I can search for a dollar amount like $14.98, which happened to be the same amount on two different instances. Now, if you'll notice, this is filtered. Everything is filtered, but the reset button does not appear. I would actually say that this is a good feature that we have this reset button, but I would encourage Quicken to go a little bit further and to add the functionality to also include the search box because frequently what will happen is, is let's say we are searching here and we're saying, okay, meeting. And then we go over into another account like personal checking or savings account. And then we come back. What will happen with clients that are not as experienced in Quicken, they'll say, well, where did all my transactions go? Unless they know to X or to clear this, they might get confused. A reset button would certainly help them. So I like this feature. Um, I think it's a step in the right direction. I give it a B just because I'd like it to go a step even further and reset the search box as well as any filters. The third new feature, displaying security names as well as a security name in the investment register. This was improved upon in August of 2022 with release 43.14. Specifically, it says what's improved, provide an option on the gear menu to display the security symbol as well as a security name in the investment register. So now let's look at in the product. If we go to a brokerage account, this is the big brokerage account, and we look at the investment register. Traditionally, we see date, action, security, and the security is written out. But what we do not see is the ticker symbol. If we did not know the ticker symbol, we'd have to go to holdings and then hover over the name. So we'll see Meridian is MSGGK or Vanguard Growth VUG. So not the easiest, especially if you're not dealing with common securities, but many people need to know the ticker because that's how they trade, that's how they get quotes, uh, and sometimes people just refer to stocks as their ticker, uh, AAPL for Apple, GOOG for Google, et cetera. Our new feature, if we go to the gear menu and down to security display and register, symbol security. So now you can see the ticker and the name of the security in this field. This is a nice feature. I like it uh, more often than not. I actually go by the ticker rather than the actual name. So I've frequently been going into the holdings and trying to find the ticker of those, those securities. However, I would like one additional feature in that I'd really rather see a whole separate column that has the ticker and then the security name and then the ability to even just make the security name disappear because in many portfolios, you just are familiar with all the tickers and you don't even need all that real estate for the name. But a great move and uh, a nice feature set by Quicken. That concludes this video. So stay tuned for two other videos on new features in investment transactions and restricted stock units. Again, if you have any questions, I can be reached at quickencoach.com and sundialvfo.com. Thank you.